send people to work building computers. Lay some robots off. Because if technology is built to better humanity, and it's not, it's only benefiting the people's bottom line, profit margin, baby. Then lay some fucking robots off. I'm um, Eat it right now. Lay some robots off, baby. If you want to educate America, send Americans to work building computers. Why? Why can't we be happy? Why can't we... Why, why, why can't we have jobs? Why can't we build shit in America? Remember built in America was a was a, a, a staple. I mean, buy American made. What happened to that? People stopped buying American made when they find out what they bought in America that was made in America was made in China. I worked at a company where we made clipboards, polyurethane clipboards. Clipboards were made, manufactured, everything right here in the United States of America. Shipped to China. Two weeks I was there. They showed me how the projections and everything was made. They showed me this big chart. You might not understand it, but I did understand the chart. And like I told those guys before I even saw the chart, everything here is based on a number. And if the man don't see his numbers add up, he's coming for your ass to make sure he get his. And before I left, I saw the numbers change. And that's the job calling me back again. I know it. How can I help you? Yes? How are you doing? Pretty good. Okie dokie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. Oh uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine. I, I've been, I be sitting here by myself a lot all the time. Okay. <laughs> all righty. I will. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Apparently, they want me to come back to work. They need me there. They had got to have me there. When uh, AIX had his um, Hayden bailout plan during the 2008 bailout uh, plans for the banking industry, um, I suppose um, really nobody quite thought about it um, because they thought, you know, what are you selling? And um, this is too good to be true. But um, sort of a year and a half on, I suppose now, uh, you can actually have an amendment to that bailout plan by um, the real AIX and um, it's kind of an amendment if you like I mean countries where they're struggling with employment and especially those countries who have natural resources uh, they need to kick out the uh, foreign corporate companies out but at the same time you know give them this uh, warning shot and um, my proposed amendment would be to actually allow these companies that um, either can't make it or can't quite afford to make uh, to, or to pay the wages to um, those citizens of uh, the country, whatever country you happen to be in, pay the difference in wages um, that is sort of below the natural average to bring it back to the uh, above average. Okay, so instead of paying people uh, welfare money to encourage them to, or to discourage them from going to work, encourage them to actually go to work and stay, and then uh, at the same time you're persuading the companies to stay in your country and carry on investing and carry on doing business so you allow them but you have to also carry out an audit so that you make sure that um, this is why the government is good at governing and not running things it's there it's a private industry but the government keeps an eye watch of it so that it's following its rules and, regu and uh, regulations <coughs> so yeah you're persuading companies to stay you're encouraging people to work through audit so you can't pay um, 18 grand a month uh, 18 dollars 18 thousand dollars Okay, fine. We'll, we'll top it up um, as much as we could to get you. Um, and also, you can actually audit the person. So if they've got a family, you can. They will have a higher top up than a, a person who's single, for example. 
but nevertheless the government or the people's government will uh, give you a top up you know 2,000 because you've got 18,000 you want to get to 20,000 dollars for argument's sake so yeah this kind of uh, plan also probably will fall on deaf ears and it will probably be thought of as too good to be true but um, it just needs some proper watchful eyes by the citizens and some proper management by the government and nobody will be stealing anything if everybody's watching everybody else truthfully <laughs>